vehicle. So what we need to do is beef up the rear suspension a little bit. Now, Helwig Products has given us a couple different options as far as beefing up that rear suspension goes. Now, he has the potential to add a lot more weight to the bed of this truck, but he doesn't have the suspension to support it from underneath. So two different ways you can go in terms of supporting that weight. One is with this easy 990 helper spring. Now, what's nice about it is it's really easy to install. It has a 2,000 pound load capacity for the suspension of the truck. And you know what? It starts at an inexpensive price, about 120 bucks. You really can't beat that. Yeah, that is cool. And 2,000 pounds is a lot of weight to be carrying around. But let's say you're one of the guys that's going to go up and above that, yeah. right? Maybe up to 5,000 pounds, a seriously heavy load. Well, that's where these airbag systems comes in from Helwig. And this is a nice system, too. You've got all the heavy-duty bracketry right there. And you've got the bags that you put them in. And you can adjust them as far as your ride height goes and keep the truck nice and level. And you can hold a big, heavy load, like I said, up to 5,000 pounds and maintain a lot of comfort when you're doing that. Now, we call it this buddy of ours and said, are you ever going to run an additional 5,000 pounds in that truck? And he said, man, I hope not. So I think for today, I think this is going to be the way to go for this particular truck. Hey, I'll make you a deal. You go buy lunch. I'll put these in. You never hear that. So <laughs> I'm out of here. Good luck, dude. So now the wheel and tire are off and the truck is up in the air. We can go ahead and put these helper springs in now. First thing you'll notice, there's a long and a short side of the helper spring. Instructions will tell you that the long side goes to the back. So we'll set this up in place here on top of your top spring. Now it's pretty simple, the install. What you gotta do is you use 7 16 U-bolts in the back and they'll give you bigger half inch ones you use up here in the center. Now we're gonna go ahead and use this smaller crossbar across the back because they're not gonna have as much of a load on it, thicker ones up front with the half inch ones. What we're trying to do is just set like a preload on these helper springs. The idea is you don't want these things to be bared down on too far because it'll make your suspension really stiff when you don't have any load in the truck. All right, so let me zip these up. And we want to go ahead and do the same thing on the front. Now this is a progressive spring system and what it means by that is that this thing really won't kick into play until this, your regular springs get a little load on it. So that's what's going to help you keep your nice ride going down the road where there's no load in the truck. It's supposed to be nice and soft and won't beat you up too bad. Now one thing that's nice about this kit is it comes with a lifetime warranty so you don't have to worry about it. And and one thing you also have to keep in mind is just because you're increasing the suspension capacity back here at 2,000 pounds, you want, never want to go over the gross vehicle weight capacity. All right, now that you got the preload set on the outside of here and you don't hear any rattles, you know it's safe to go ahead and put the inside ones on. Now, these are the half-inch U-bolts. These are a little bit stronger because they're going to need to to handle a little bit of load. And you've got the wider crossbar, so those will go in place. Once you run them down, you want to torque them down to about 50 or 60 foot-pounds. Then you can go ahead and double nut them so they won't come undone and you can set the truck back on the, on the ground and you're just simply done at that point. Now that we're increasing the load carrying capacity of this truck, we want to upgrade the brakes at the same time because eventually we're going to want to stop that load or slow it down and we need some bigger brakes to do that. And we're going to do that with this. It's the Extreme Performance Truck and Tow Rotors and Pads from the guys at Power Stop. These are bigger, heavier duty brakes and he's going to need them on this truck. But now that we're up here in the front, we're kind of ripping apart the whole existing braking system. We can see what kind of shape it's in. Now this was the pad that was on the back side of the rotor. I don't know what kind of if you guys can see that or not, but up on here there's a major, major lip and I'm guessing that cut into the rotor pretty good. We can pull this off and get a better look at it. Let's put this down here and you look at this and that is nasty. I bet you, you can't even probably get this turn. I mean, that is deep, deep, deep cut in there. So there's been some uh, need for new brakes for quite some time. So this is a good day for this guy. Now let's take a look at the braking system. Some of you may know all about it and some of you may not. What's happening when the brakes are cold and you've got the pad, it's actually pushing on the rotor like that. When they're cold, it acts kind of like a sandpaper type reaction. There's a little bit of material from the pad and a little bit of material from the rotor that's all being removed. Now, as that all heats up, you get this whole row, kind of this, this circle of material right here. Now that material has got to eventually go somewhere. So these updated rotors are going to come in handy for that. Now, if you take a look at these side by side, you see a big difference. These are drilled and slotted. Now, the name of the game is you want to keep these things as cool as possible. And that's what these holes are going to do. You might not realize it when you look at them because they don't look like much, but this potentially, just these little holes are going to keep this rotor up to 150 degrees cooler. And that is pretty, pretty substantial. Now, when you're looking at the slots right there and you might think, well, what's that doing? Well, we talked about all the material Material that as the brakes are getting hot and cold, all this material is being built up and torn away and it's got to get out of there somehow. And that's what these slots are for. So all the trapped gases and materials and all that can go shooting out the side. And the idea there is to keep that contact patch between
between the pad and the rotor as clean as possible. That'll keep things as cool as possible and that'll help eliminate brake pulsation and brake fade as well. So this is definitely going to be a good improvement for this truck. Now to complement these new rotors that Matt was talking about, we've got a set of PowerStop's Z36 Extreme Truck and Tow Pads. Now, these old brake pads that are in here, you can see are really wore out and definitely needs the new pads. The idea behind the new ones is the fact that these things are made for high gro gross vehicle weight trucks. Ones are going to do a lot of heavy duty thermal cycling because they're doing a lot of hauling and a lot of towing. Now, what makes these things here are shot. What makes these new ones so unique is the fact that they've got a special metallic carbon formulation. Now this unique metallic carbon formula is really going to come into play when the brakes get hot when you're using them a lot. What that's going to do is help this truck have much shorter stopping distances. Now just because you're going to put in some new brake pads and a new rotor doesn't mean you're ready to go ahead and rock and roll. You've got to break in the pads the correct way. The idea is to do some moderate stopping from distances about 45 to 5 miles an hour. What you're trying to do is get an even wear of brake pad material onto the rotors without developing any high spots. The way you're going to get a high spot is you hit the brake suddenly or all come to a complete stop right away. It's not what you want to do. So once you go ahead and do the six or seven of those cycles, you've got enough brake temperature into the pads itself that they'll have the even transfer. Then you're ready to rock and roll. All you have to do is drive around a bit, let them cool down, and your brake pad installation is done.